We're going to learn how to create input forms now. So the tag that starts the form is the form tag. And then we're going to create a first name text field and a last name text field as an example. So we'll type first name then colon. Now we're going to create the input box. So we put input type equals double quote text double quote. This specifies that the form type is text, meaning you can write in the box. And then we need to name the box when we make and submit forms so that we can recognize where the information is coming from. And so since it's a first name form, we're going to name it first name. And then we can close that. Then we're going to create a last name. And then we'll create our input input type again is going to be text and the name of this will be last name and then to close the form slash form so now we'll save that and in our browser we have first name and last name that show up and they're on the same line. If you want them to be on a different line, all you have to do is put the break tag after the first input form. We'll save that. Now last name is below the first name. So in this web browser, now you can type your first name in. So John and your last name Smith. So now you have created input text forms. Now say you want to change the size of these input text forms. All you have to do is go into the input type tag and after the name type size equals and we'll type 40 in there. We'll hit control S to save refresh the web browser and now the text area as you can see is bigger so you can change it to whatever size you would like now in case you're going to create a password form and you don't want your password to show up in the web browser like that if your password is password you'd rather want it to show up as dots for more security we'll create another form and we'll just make this login name and so this will be just regular input type equals double quote text double quote and we'll name it login name to make it simple and we'll want a break and then we'll have a password colon and here's where it gets different so you have input type equals double quote and it's password double quote and then you want to name it and it's a password, so we'll name it password. We'll close that. Then we need to close the form. We'll save this. Hit refresh. Now we have a login name and a password. So let's say our login name is John Smith. 
and then our password is just going to be password so I'll start typing in the password now you can see that the password text area comes up as dots as if you would log in to any other site so the difference between the input type so the letters show up it's just text and for the input type so the circles show up you put it as password and now you can create your first text input area forms